And what is more sanctified than the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This thing that Allah has created as a tajalli of all of His divine attributes and then called us to marvel at it. If you look at people when they see people who, who can do something amazing, you see you had a, the, a beautiful singer who sings his song and people in the non-Muslim society, you know what they do? If people clap, they do these things, ovation. They do an ovation. Right, which is to, to praise. That is because of what's happening in their hearts. They see something extraordinary and they want to praise that thing because they're seeing something that has affected their souls. So when they see uh, somebody who's mastered the piano and he gets up and plays some extraordinary piece by Rachmaninoff or Beethoven, they all stand up and they clap and clap to say, what an extraordinary thing you've just done before our eyes. How extraordinary. That's what they feel like doing because it's so amazing. <coughs> and yet, we're in this incredible existence, this amazing creation. <coughs> Stars in the heavens, galaxies. We've got Hubble telescopes that look at the far corners of the universe. The massive expansiveness. We have flowers that bloom before our eyes. We, we can watch flowers that move across as the sun moves across the sky. The flowers follow the sun. We have animals that can do the most extraordinary thing. Elephants that can carry extraordinary weight on their backs, but ants even, even more extraordinary that can carry many times their own weight. All of these things happening before us. We have women right now in this room. There's a fetus, a baby developing in their wombs. Mitotic cell division at rapid rate. All of these things are happening everywhere. And we don't feel compelled to give God a standing ovation. Stand up before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, really to stand in ovation before our Lord. Like people stand before some poor soul who's perfected some little trick on a musical instrument, who can pipe a tune out. And we're compelled to jump up and clap and say, bravo, bravo. And we can't get up for the Lord of the worlds and say, Allahu Akbar. What has deluded you? What has deluded you? What has taken you away from the praise of your Lord? This is what Muslims are meant to remind people to do. Wherever they go to tell people, to tell people you have a Lord. Our Prophet went into sajda out of gratitude. Our Prophet, when he saw an eclipse, he went and, and, and gave God an ovation. He prayed. He stood up and prayed and went into sajda as a testimony to what he was witnessing, a reminder. But those reminders are in every instant. These are just the great ones to pull even the most heedless of people back to attentiveness to their Lord. Things like eclipses, like volcanoes, like oil spewing out into the ocean should tell us the praise of your Lord. This is what Muslims are meant to remind people to do wherever they do.